It's week nine of the National Football League, and this one features Josh Jacobs. He's the NFL's ultimate red zone back and your leader in rushing touchdowns. It's the Packers and the Lions next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They're halfway home, looking good, and a perfect 8-0. And not much to complain about so far, is there? I'd have to say they're the best team in the NFL through the first half of the year. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Donovan Peoples-Jones now from the end zone. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. They'll run for the first time with the speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Now the numbers for Gibbs from last week. 17 carries, 69 yards. Well, partner, we've watched as they've reached two wins, three wins, four, and then five. And we kept questioning each week, how long can they keep this streak going? This team is rolling, and having someone like this who can really set the tone for your offense week in and week out is a big part of why they've been unbeatable as of late. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Lions offense, led by their running back, headed out for the second possession. And they love to find different ways to get him the football. We know that. And you can see he comes into this week second in the NFL in receiving yards out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. And, Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle. I mean, they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms, but I think what they need to do... In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. You've called plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, my man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. No, oh, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. 
Here comes the Lions punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. It's fielded at the 45. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. Six-foot-four-inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first-round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 16 carries, 77 yards. Hey, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does, and they want to make sure they get him there. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Throwing. Love. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now you and I, partner, we got the plum assignment this week, an unbeaten team against a one-loss team. Really not much separating these two entering play here today. Not much at all, and I think for both coaches, they've looked at their team and said, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one, and you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big question of the day. Are we as good as we think we are? We're about to find out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up the man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Goff now looks to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Eric Wilson coming in hard that time on the blitz and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Goff. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. Well, this defense for the Packers, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. If they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded at the 43. A good return there, 17 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Next to receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. 
And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now Love. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. As they've got it with a second and ten. On the set. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here we go. Here's Love. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. Uh, this has neither the distance nor the accuracy. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. So a bit of a weird kick there. That wasn't an overly long attempt, but that never had a chance. You almost wonder if he might have maybe got that one on the laces because it kind of knuckled on him a bit. And this one winds up in empty possession. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now it's gone. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Eric Wilson. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 23. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down at 10. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. He is the NFL's leader in rushing yards to this point in the season. And if he can replicate or even surpass the production that he had over the first half of the year, he's going to have a good chance to take home the title. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And yeah, they've got themselves a 7-0 lead here, but that, you recall, was a defensive touchdown, so still nothing as of yet for this offense. Well, they're happy to have the lead. We've got to cut them a little bit of slack. It's still early enough, just a couple of drives so far, but if this one goes nowhere, those adjustments that we talk about, they shouldn't wait for halftime. They should go ahead and start working on them right now. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Okay, break. 
Off the play fake, Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. Touchdown! Romeo Dobbs, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. Now Carlson for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Time for another look at this Lions offense. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Off play action. Here's Goff. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A shotgun snap for Goff. And he gets this to the 35, good for a gain of five. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Here is third and five. Here's gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Offensively lucky there. Able to keep the football. But now fourth down. So they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble. So they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how have we, we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And it'll bring up a second and short. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On play action. Love to throw. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll start things out with an NFC matchup down in the Southwest as Chicago is in town to take on Arizona. And it's the Cardinals who are out in front in that one. The Cards trying to finish that one off and claim victory. From there, we head east to check out the Jets at home at MetLife Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Houston Texans. Aaron Rodgers strong in the victory as it pushes his guys back above the 500 mark on the year. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Michael Thomas, two touchdown catches in the victory. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, These Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for, for quarter half, number three. Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Packers now to take over. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well. Try to make it nine in a row. Love going to break the huddle. Lead the Packers up here first and ten at their own 27. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Guys had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said, move on to the next play. That one just happened, let it go. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. 
Play action this time with Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Carlson's extra point up and good, and it is 28-0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Yeah, Detroit back in possession of the football, and they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Goff now looking to throw. He's got it to Williams. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's Gaw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now two yards to go on third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's Goff. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That pass knocked away by Eric Stokes. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Taken in at the 22. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Packers offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run rough shot through him to this point in the third quarter. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Second down, Jacobs once more. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. And his fine afternoon on the ground continues. That last run, going to put him over 100 yards for the ball game. But these Packers and these Packer fans really thrive with the cold temperatures here at Lambeau. And their guys have the lead here with a first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. 108 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. 
This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now a give to Jacobs running right, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. And this is caught. Touchdown, Packers. A great effort there. 35 yards. And the Packers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. A partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football, all four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that makes this 35 to nothing now. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Back now at Lambeau. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now gone. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Goff. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 11 yards there and a line first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. Back to throw. Golf. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing again is gone. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. Well, it's obvious, but I can't help but say it here. It's never a good day when the opposing defense has more sacks than you have points. The win seems likely, 
But this defense is still playing for something here. They see that zero on the scoreboard, and they don't want that to change. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The home team's offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but <laughs> in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's gonna be hard to parse. Who's going to win the MVP? Yeah, it really uh, is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 141 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Jacob's going to try the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Counter play with Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Second and six. Here we go. Six. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. 
if you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. To throw is gone. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Fielded at the 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So not just a blowout win for them today, Charles, but a shutout blowout win as well. Clearly just a superior effort on both sides of the ball. Hey, didn't it feel like you get a touchdown, you get a touchdown, and then the defense jumped up and said, hold it, we're getting involved as well. You're exactly right. Big points, both sides contributing, a full team win. So for Green Bay, the train just keeps rolling 9-0 and now to start this campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Lions, the loss will drop them to 6-2 and now on the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.